There you go. Very good. I want it to fall away from my right hand. I don't want to push, I don't push down. When I put that little bit of, I, I'm squeezing pressure, I'm not pushing down pressure. I touch, squeeze, and then there. Any, any sign he tries, I, I let go of it. Right there. Squeeze, there. I want it to fall away from my right hand. I'm not pushing down. There. There you go. Okay. Now, to teach a horse to take the bit, you grab this knot, put your elbow up like this and protect yourself. And you rub his muzzle here. And when and there, when he's when he's good with you rubbing his muzzle, touch the knot, lift. You start to tickle the corner of his mouth and just stick your finger in there. There, good. When he accepted it, you just quit. Arm up. And, and keep your face turned away here in case he throws a, in case he throws a shit fit. You don't want to hit it in the face. Rub his muzzle. Stick your finger in. Wait till he relaxes. There he, there he was more accepting. And what I'm gonna ultimately ask him to do here, I'll rub his muzzle, slip my finger in. I wanted to bring his head to the left and down just a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit of down pressure on the halter. There. When he came left and dropped his head a little bit. I'm gonna protect my face again and down a little bit. I put a little bit of down pressure right there. Good boy. Just grab yeah. this knot and lift your elbow up to protect yourself just in case he wants to throw his head. Rub his muzzle and then slip your middle finger in a straight in and across and across his tongue, okay? And then when he's, when he's somewhat relaxed, slip it out. Don't let him grab your finger with his tongue and pull it back up here where his molars are. He'll grind your finger off. So you gotta kinda out strengthen his tongue, okay. So now you're gonna come in here, hold the bridle in your left hand, straddle his face, and bring the bit up under his chin like this, okay? Trade hands, keep it, keep it up. Reach down and spread the rings, and then reach over with your middle finger on the other side and slip the bit into his mouth. Don't worry if you get his tongue over or under. <clears throat> Encourage him to come left, and right there, let him spit it out. Good. Left hand, you can you can hold his head here, and then guide this bit up under his chin. Trade hands, spread the rings, reach on the other side, and, and open his mouth. Encourage, lift it up with your right hand. Encourage him to come low and left. And right here, because we've taught him to lower his head, you can put a little bit of finger pressure right there and even, and even get him to maybe drop his head just a little bit. And then just let him spit it out if he's relaxed. Now the reason I like to come here, up, trade, spread, instead of using my thumb, I will end up pushing my horse away this way. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm encouraging him to actually come to me, okay? And what, if he accepts it well, heck, I'll just go ahead and put it on him and adjust it up kind of snug. Yeah, he's got a small head. And I'll just let him carry that for a little bit. So, <clears throat> uh, when you get home, just put the bit on, just let him carry it around for a few hours. You know? Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe 20 minutes at first, hour later, two hours after that, let him eat with it. Pretty soon, he'll forget. And then put it on first thing and do all your exercises with him wearing the bit. Pretty soon, he's more focused on listening to you and he's not worrying about that bit at all. Yeah. To take the bridle off, you slip. Slip it off nice, hold it up. Encourage him to come low and left. And down here is where he gets to slip it on out with his tongue. Okay, that's that.